is it actually going to stay on this time? This can be very confusing for everybody. Oh my goodness, I think it's finally staying on. Nope, I'm, I think I finally got it figured out. I don't know why it was doing that. I didn't change anything. I just waited for a few and then got back on here. So, which I think I deleted the other one where I tried to go. So, hopefully nobody sees that one and tries to stay on there. Unless... I don't know. The only other thing I could say was Josh, was he live or anything over there at the Randolph? Um, you gotta say yes or no. <laughs> he was live. Was you guys watching him then? No. Yes, he was. The same time I was trying to go live? Well, maybe that's what the problem was then. But, yep. So, guess where I'm at? I am here, located at the Moreau house. And I mean, I've been here investigating for a good, good while. And I'll tell you what, it has been freaking crazy. You guys, yeah, just wait until you uh, see this video. Some of the stuff I got upstairs. I mean, it was like really, really intelligent. Which I do need to go up and um, check the GoPro battery. So, which is what's bad is I only got a couple batteries left. So, and I'll tell you what, going up here it is so freaking freaky by yourself. Oh my gosh. So, I got to make it all the way to this the back room so I can turn on the light. So it's probably going to get dark. So we might as well, let's go ahead and we'll grab a, whoops, hold on. Oh, I got to switch that battery out too. Yeah, pretty much all my batteries went dead i mean they've been going dead like all freaking night so all right it's gonna get dark for a minute but i'm not going anywhere uh-oh no way the rim pod's going off Okay, I'm just, I'm shutting it off because I don't know. I just don't, maybe. Okay, let's set that there. Holy crap, I cannot. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing too, guys. So don't, don't worry. I'm going to turn on the light here in a second. Okay, I made it. The creepy room. Now that's crazy. That was perfect timing, y'all. The battery just went dead. So let me uh, try to set you up somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Will you hold my phone? This doll here is going to hold the phone.
But what's crazy is, ever since I got here, I mean, all I seems like all I've been doing is charging batteries. <coughs> I mean, they have been going dead, like quick. Really, really quick. I know it's getting cold up here. But I was up here earlier and let me tell you, it did not disappoint, not one bit. I feel like I should set something else there. Because something's been messing with the, um, music box. What's, uh, set a hot well there. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. Yeah, I've been having that music box go off, and yeah, I had a whole bunch of stuff happen up here. Okay. Did you miss me? If you're still, if you're still up here, can you set that off again? Do you not like that car being there? Okay, can you walk away from that? Walk away. Come over here with me. Okay. Let's uh move the car. Reset that. Is the car doing it? All right. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Okay. Set that off anytime you want. Okay. I wanna grab. Hold on a minute. Okay, I wanna grab these alarm cell. Take them downstairs. Okay. Give me a second, everybody. I'll have you back in the light. I'm just trying not to fall down these steps. It's about the last thing I want to do, especially being here by myself.
Yeah, it has been one scary adventure being here alone. So, still not 100% positive if I'm going to be able to sleep here tonight. Not sure if anybody's ever done this. Just, you know, on here that I'm been to a location by yourself and that's been crazy active and having a whole bunch of stuff happen but it's yeah it's a little crazy but i've been yeah it's been off the chart here okay very dark There we go, we got a little bit more light even though it's gonna blind the crap out of me. But I haven't ate yet, so guess what? It's time to eat. Do you know what we're having tonight? Does, they, does anybody remember what Josh had last night? Let's see here. Yep, we are having TV dinner, thanks to Josh. Which hopefully it's not as bad as what Josh said because I don't have any other food, so. Thank you, Josh. <clears throat> uh, normally, we just live off coffee. So, it's okay. I guess I should look at the directions. Say anybody know how to cook these? the dessert it says remove film from it okay and then I just opened up instead of poking a hole in it I hope this melt this plastic don't melt I got batteries charging like everywhere. There's the microwave. Okay. All right, so we got five minutes. Okay. So it won't take too long. I'll be right back. I run straight to the car. Then I'll be right back. So you guys watch my mill for a minute. Is everybody saying take off the plastic? It says to leave it on. Okay, if you're saying take it off, I'll take it off. I don't want to melt anything. Okay, plastic's off. Okay, I'll be right back. 
But you guys watch my down here for a sack. Watch the stove. See if anything comes out of that hallway. And listen for noises. Hey, I'm back. Anybody miss me? Yeah, that is an old oven. That's an old house. But yeah, so I've been here probably since I think around 3 o'clock filming. And this place has not let me down whatsoever. There has been a couple times where I've questioned about leaving. But I've stuck around so far, but I'm not for sure about spending a night here trying to sleep back here in that room. I mean, it is crazy, 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 creepy. But I've almost, but I did check the window though, back there, to make sure I could open it really quick if I needed a escape. Let me show you how far I go if something happens and I need to hurry and get out. Whoops, I'll flip you guys around. So anyways, okay, we'll just, we'll go back there and then we'll start and come all the way back. So you gotta go through all these creepy rooms. Okay, so first of all, there's the beds. And there's a whole bunch of scary movies. I don't know if you guys can see the scary movies. Which I, I told Josh I should just come back here and go live with you guys and watch a scary movie. But anyway, so you gotta leave this room, come out here, make it through these doors, and right there's the basement, which is really creepy. Come all the way through here, all the way back out here, um, all the way around, you see all of our equipment, to the front door. Hold on. That is a long ways away to get out. So, yeah, it's kind of spooky. there we go so what do you guys think about spending the night here oh yeah okay so we did that now we gotta do another three and a half minutes after stir the vegetables look good 
Okay. Stir, stir, stir. There's um, apples, Josh said, tasted pretty good. Hey, them act that actually don't taste bad. Now, something like Josh don't like stuffing. Me, I like it. To me, just mix it all up in the mashed potatoes because I don't like mashed potatoes. Normally, if I eat mashed potatoes, I just like put a A1 sauce or hot sauce in the mashed potatoes because I definitely am not big into them. I feel like I need to... Uh, you guys definitely just don't want to see what I'm doing right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, here, I'll show you. Does it look pleasant? The... Dessert and uh, is already hot. Okay, three and a half minutes. Yeah, I talked to Josh earlier. I think him and uh, Rocky ate really good over at the Randolph, but that's okay. I'll stick to this dinner all by myself and well I guess I got the ghost I did have um, I was talking upstairs to something on a ghost tomb and I was telling it about what I wanted was going to come down here and eat even though that was like two hours ago and it said follow you or following or something like that. So it may have uh, be down here with me. Which to me it seemed like I was talking to a kid up there. But I'm not. Can't say 100% until we go over everything. And maybe it let me know. I'm not for sure. But hopefully Josh and Rocky's getting some good stuff over there at Randolph. Yeah, I don't know when Josh uh, puts this episode together. Maybe he'll uh, incorporate some of uh, what him and Rocky got when they was here. But I, uh, where was I? I was doing the baby monitor. I think I was just right here in this room, and it was almost like you could hear faint voices coming across. There goes the, uh, I forget what you call that thing now. Yeah, but see right now I got that alarm sitting over here in the hallway and it's going off. But it's not taking me away from my dinner. Then we just got to find somewhere to sit down and eat, which we'll go in the living room. So has anybody had Thanksgiving already or... I get angry, man. Uh, just seeing them. Sorry, I can't read the names that are going by too fast, but now I not had the, said something about Frozen Skyline. No.
Uh oh. Let's see if it's done. Holy crap, that's hot. Okay, it's definitely hot now. There's probably like a rule about letting it cool for a couple minutes. So you don't burn your face off. Because it is boiling hot. That's probably the only turkey I get for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, that's hot. I feel like they got salt and pepper here. I feel like I should put some salt and pepper on it. Wow, that um, I think it's like an apple fritter or something, or I don't know. I think it's salt. <laughs> Watch them. Hold on, I gotta borrow this light for a minute. I feel like it needs like a ton of salt on this stuff. Okay, we'll just do salt. So, do you guys say I should sleep here tonight or shouldn't? Because honestly, I'm about terrified to sleep here. I was going to bring some hot sauce because I didn't know I was going to be eating this, but I didn't. Okay. Hold on one minute. Let me take this in and set it down. You can't go wrong with Dr. Pepper. Somebody should uh, send Dr. Pepper a uh, message for us and tell them to sponsor us as much Dr. Pepper as I drink. I like it. Okay, I think that camera shut off. So more batteries, that's dead. Don't think I need that light. Yeah, I figured I'd probably definitely, definitely. Holy mackinac, this chair is cold. Oh yeah, this just looks delicious. Hold on, I need to grab a knife. But the way I see it, when you're eating something like this, just uh, pretend, I think I should just like say heck with it and mix, cut the turkey up, just mix it all with the stuffing and mashed potatoes so you're getting like a bite of everything. But when you eat something like this, just pretend that you had a gourmet chef cook it, and that's like the most expensive food that you've ever eaten in your life. That's the way I see it. Or it could be my last meal tonight. Being a ghost hunter with Josh sometime doesn't make sense. 
because he always wants you to do crazy stuff. Okay, I think I got the turkey all chopped up. Or if they got napkins in there. Okay, moment. Oh. I think I'm getting these batteries mixed up. I think that's the good ones. Oh, that's a good one. I'm trying to make sure to keep these charged up for Josh too, so that way he don't have to um, charge them all when, he, when I take them home to him. Alrighty, are we ready for this gourmet meal? I can pretend that it came from Paris. So I've never been to Paris and don't think I've ever eaten any kind of food from them. Let's try a carrot. See, we got good old hard carrots. I just feel like the carrot shouldn't be that crunchy. I'll try to read some uh, comments. Happy Thanksgiving, Joe. Got green beans. Oh my gosh, that is bad. That's like chewy, stringy, a uh, bit crunchy, and very hard to swallow. It's like rubbery and crunchy all at the same time. Okay, and now we got the corn. The carrots, I could probably eat the carrots. The green beans, no. How can you take the taste out of corn? I'm not sure how you can do that. Yeah, that is not good at all. Okay. Let's try this uh, now. I've been drinking coffee all day today, so he'll, I figured I'd change it up and have uh, Dr. Pepper. Okay, that's not as bad as what I thought it would be. I think it's just more of the texture to get over the texture. But if it wasn't for like this, and say you was just eating the vegetables, don't do it. So if somebody gets one of these and then they say, oh, do you want my vegetables? Say, no, I do not want your vegetables. So has everybody got a big day tomorrow for Thanksgiving? I think part of it's still cold. 
Oh, well. I think that's another thing. I'm trying to... Maybe I should have just mixed it all up like this. I'm trying to figure out why I get one bite that's warm. Then you take another bite and it's like super cold. Yeah, I think it's getting worse as I go. But I'm happy to have Thanksgiving with all of you guys, so. It works out. You know, I'm going to talk to Josh so next time I'd rather just eat a cold can of pork and beans. I wish I would have brought some hot sauce. Maybe it would have made it a little better. Did Josh eat all of his? Cause this is really getting hard to swallow. <laughs> You guys wouldn't be fibbing to me now, are you? If I go back and watch his and he, he doesn't eat it all, I'm going to probably cry. Because if I say I eat all this, then I... I mean, that's not definitely not the best. You would think, though, they'd put some kind of, I don't know, some seasoning in it or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't able to watch all of Josh's uh, live he did last night. which I'm curious if, uh, how they're, uh, turning out over there at the good old Randolph. That place is spooky too. Especially going down that basement by yourself. It's no joke. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> so somebody said, add sugar cooking corn. Mm -hmm. Well, I cook it corn at home. I just put butter, salt, and pepper. But I think, like, this has been, this corn here has been cooked so much. It's just like the shell that's left. All the inner part of it is like gone. The hell is that noise? That was freaking weird. Is 
sound. I don't have any alarms or anything set up for that kind of noise. I don't know what the heck that would have been. I haven't heard that kind of noise. <clears throat> oh, that was freaking the weirdest noise. Just like dong, dong. Mm -hmm. I mean, it almost sounds like a sick doorbell. But the only alarm I got upstairs now is the music box. And um, then out here in this hallway, I got two alarms out there. But none of them would make that noise. So I have no idea where that came from and like I said I haven't heard that noise um, throughout the, my investigation here so mm -hmm. well, hopefully I will hear it again but for anybody who didn't see Josh's life, I'm here at the Moreau house all by myself, so. It's been really scary. Susan said, don't sleep there. Rubber rockers. I think said she working. <clears throat> I the uh, hold on a minute. I'm telling you, trying to swallow this stuff is not the best. Um, but I don't like letting food go to waste neither. Yeah. Uh, which I'm sure I've ate more stuff in this, so. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh. One of the things I've been, like, fighting tonight, more or less why I thought about maybe possibly leaving is every time I'd go and start to, like, investigate, something's in the hallway. Thank you. I'm eating now. So don't scare me. Oh, I got the light on. I'm not scared when the light's on. But what I was going to say was, like every time I start investigating, I'd start getting like a headache in the back. And then just start feeling like crap. But as soon as I walk outside just take a break, I would be fine. So, I don't know. I don't know what the heck that was all about. <clears throat> Which I'm hoping it don't keep happening, but it's been pretty much happening since I've been here. And that's one of the reasons I'm kind of uh, a little scared about spending the night here alone. Just because... If something did happen. Well, that's what scares the crap out of me. No, my luck, I'll be sleeping and the cameras will shut off and then I'll get pulled out of bed or something.
Don't worry, I'll show you guys after I eat all this. The vegetables, I just don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat them. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the carrots, they're not the best, but I can stand them. Tomorrow's Dumpster's birthday. <clears throat> but one good thing, the temperature in this house hasn't been too bad, but it definitely fluctuates going room to room. So... I wish I could uh, do the ghost tube while I had you guys alive because it, I've been getting some really good stuff on the ghost tube. And look what look what Josh left me. Boop. There is no way in heck I am doing that thing by myself. Not being alone here. I mean, it'd be different if they was um, sitting outside in the van or whatever, then, you know, I would do it. Especially upstairs. Or probably the basement. But I, I don't think I'm going to... I'll make it back in that hole, honestly. <clears throat> but I think with everything I've been getting tonight, I think I'll be okay. Which, I mean, I can do the ghosts here. You know, I don't have to have that thing on and I can still do it later on. Just not while I'm live with you all. <clears throat> but, um, oh my goodness. One more by this and I'll be done. Okay. You guys definitely don't want to see all that. Now, hopefully, the apple's cold off. Because I definitely see. What the hell is in that? Oh gosh, no. Yeah, I don't know what's in that, but that ain't happening. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what they put in that. I don't think I've ever tasted anything like that before. But I like apples. Or, you know, like apple pie and all that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That right there just ain't right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'd rather have, uh, take another... Wait, well, something get that, that taste out of my mouth. That was strong. Yeah, something in that's really strong. Like, um, the aftertaste. Yeah, I definitely need to make some coffee. And 
throw all that stuff away. I'll put that Dr. Pepper in the refrigerator. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put that Dr. Pepper in the refrigerator so I can have that later. Little bit. Let me set you guys back up here. Yeah, the light they have in here, it's not bright, bright, but I mean, it works for what we need it to. So, oh, I need to go get this stuff and throw it away. Okay, give me a minute. Say thank you, Josh, for the meal that you blessed me with tonight. Even though it may not have been the best meal I've ever had in my life, it was still food in my belly. So thank you. I don't know if he was watching that. But now it's time to make coffee. Yeah, I've drunk probably so much coffee. I should be. That's my problem, too, is I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. So. But then, you know, I'm going to end up, once I get off live with you guys, I'll end up investigating more and getting scared more and then who knows what. Okay. Let's see here. Power on. I guess I can unplug that microwave. Oh, got a lot of heat up. It's crazy though, that little bit does fill you up. May not be the best, but it works. I'm not sure what this thing's doing. I just want it to make me coffee. Say at home, I just use
Okay, did that work? Then am I back? Okay, so I figured out the one thing you do not want to do is answer a phone call during a live. <laughs> but it was Rocky, so I didn't know if um, he needed something. Okay. Okay, I'll be uh, right back. Let everybody know it's working now. I'm back. Um, bring you guys back in here. Let me shut this because I need to change out batteries and stuff. So, let's try and see where I set you guys so you you wasn't set so low, but. Shut that down. Okay. I'll tell you what, it's getting cold now. It is getting very, very cold. Okay. These, all these batteries should be good. Once I have just we uh, split these out and then uh, okay, so that battery's good. Good. These should be all good batteries. Alrighty, so what we can do is we can go for a walkabout and see if we um, hear anything. So then I'll probably take you guys for a walk and then I'll probably jump off here and um, so that way I can um, film some more. Uh, that's why the activity kind of slowed down so that's why I kind of uh, just chilled out on, and figured that was probably a good time to go eat so let's go to the basement Crap. That scared the crap out of me. There's a fireplace, little fireplace right here. But when I looked at my door, it was shining. It was shining on the uh, wall. Freaking scared the shit out of me. Okay. Holy crap. 
crap. Yeah, this basement. I'm telling you, it just is not right. Yeah, I just... I do not think... I am going to be uh, crawling back there tonight. It just... It's way too tight. But here... Okay. So anyways, here's the basement. Got a little spot back here, but here, for anybody that didn't see Josh's live last night, here's the crawl space. Then it goes right there around that corner. And right back here is, hold on a minute. <clears throat> but right back there is where they found the bones so, which I will eventually be back down here, which I was down here. It was actually the first place I went. I came down here and I did pretty sure I captured some voices. And then when I was down here, there was like a big loud bang upstairs. So hopefully I caught that on the audio. My face looks creepy. Okay. You know what I should do? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna do this here. I think I got that one thing. Rocky gave me this one thing and should be in here. And It'll make it a little easier holding the phone. Hold on, I gotta set you down for a second. Much better. It's a lot better than um, sitting there trying to hold the phone with two fingers. Then what I can do. sure what all Josh took from me. Oops, this what's in here. I was trying to find I think they he must have took it. Okay. We can try this though. So. Does anybody know what this is? Come on, library. Oh, it's processing. This is the Polter script. There we go. But crazy thing is I had this thing down here um, did not go off so I'm really curious to go upstairs where I was um, getting some really great responses on that ghost tube 
to see if uh, I can get some responses on this. So, hold on a minute. Before I forget, we gotta go lights out. Okay. I leave that kitchen light, little light on over there because it's not very bright. And I can't even see the freaking door. Where in the hell is it? Oh, okay. But I um, leave that on just in case I got to make a quick exit. But wait and see if uh, the music box goes off for us too while we're up here. I definitely cannot see anything when this is okay. <clears throat> okay, you hold that. So I want to check um, the GoPro. Okay, we are still recording. Battery looks good. Okay. But we'll set here. Okay, so we just walked around this whole room and the music box has not went off and I'll tell you why it is freaking cold up here. Let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. Hello? Yeah, pretty sure I heard something, too. Okay. I got a device here. You can talk to me. If you're up here with me, can you uh, set the music box off? Whoever I was talking to earlier, can you come in here? I know it's not dark completely. I have a device here where some of my fr friends are watching. Earlier, you said you wanted to play. You want to play with the blocks? Last time, I, I, don't, I, don't, it was, I don't know if it liked whenever I moved the blocks. Can you move a block?
Can you move the baby? quiet up here. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Maybe you'll come back out later. scares me every time I come in here. I'll tell you what, with the light like this, I can barely see the walk. If anybody's in here or upstairs here with me, can you make a noise? that bathroom that shower and everything works but there is no way in heck I'd be taking a shower in there knowing my luck someone would wrap me up Ivana are you here with me Can you do something really well? Or set my music box off in there? I wonder if it's because of the light. Let's try to shut the light off one time and just see. Everybody just listen. If you're over there by my music box, can you set it off for me? If anybody's up here, do something. Let me know where you're at. There's a little boy up here. Can you move something? Let me know if you're in here with me.
Yeah. I'm telling you what, it's dark in here. It's freaking pitch black. Holy crap, that is scary. Oh man, I think my camera light went dead. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Might as well take this down with me and. Oh, that card's full anyway, so I can... Alrighty, let's just take this all down. Where? I better grab that music box. So I'm not sure if I'll... Not for sure if I will make it back up here or not tonight. So... And I think my phone's about about ready to die. I didn't um, really pay attention to how much life I had left on it. Okay, at least I got a free hand, but. Definitely hard to see. Okay. You guys are probably getting dizzy. Yeah, these are just one of these places that's like, I don't want to push my luck being in. Oh, man. You guys know what I left up there. So I will have to go back up. The baby monitor's up there. Why? Why do we forget things? Okay, so you guys, hopefully this battery don't go down. You guys want to go back upstairs with me? Let's do it. Oh, you, I'm telling you, upstairs is like, it is just so, like when you're by yourself and you know nobody else is in, oh crap. Okay, that was a GoPro. Get scared easy. Okay, let's do this. One good thing, because if something happens, and even if the phone would go d dead, you guys would know to get a hold of Josh Rocky. Tell him to hurry up and get here and get a camera. Okay, oh, I gotta put these. I better put these toys back here. I don't want to be rude. Okay. And the baby monitor. I'll tell you what, I got such a mess downstairs with the equipment and stuff too. Cause I'll need to get that all put together tonight just in case I do stay here here hold on let me just double check okay nothing else up here okay. other than the nothing else up there other than the spirits 
But yeah, when the video comes out, you guys will see what I was talking about when I was up there by myself. It was a little crazy. Sounds like I heard a young girl giggle. Hmm. That's a good possibility. Hey, the voices I caught tonight. Oh, some of them was really freaking loud. Okay. Oh, let's run to the basement. I know there's a alarm down there. That way you guys are with me. Just be all right, it's just this light. That way you guys can see me, the light's really bright. This place holds so much history. There is a lot of okay. That's it down here. Just got to do this before my battery goes dead. Tell you what, I definitely did a lot better in this place than what I thought I was going to do. Because there was, seriously, that area was a wall there. But there was, seriously, sometimes I thought, okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. But. Oh, crap, it's a freaking camera. Jesus. Yeah. Can you guys, uh, <laughs> you whole ever freaking just start talking about being scared and then scare yourself like that? That's why I say with this light on and everything, I can't hardly see in front of me. And then you about run into a camera on a tripod and scares the living shit out of you. Okay. <laughs> So these uh, alarms are so loud. I'll tell you what, though. The piccolo. That's the piccolo. It's actually when when we was in the kitchen and I was um cooking that's what went off was that piccolo and it was sitting right here in the hallway so okay yeah because i want to kind of put stuff together and then that way i got everything together and then i can just um go film without but this room right here that I'm going into. Yeah. Creepy. Creepy. But this is a spot that I haven't been tonight. Hold on, let me turn this around here. Oh, I'm down to 10%. Okay, close. Hold on, I'll flip you guys around here in a second. Just give me a second. Okay, so this room I have not been in yet tonight. So I'm not for sure why this chair is like just sitting out here in the middle like like this, but I definitely need to come back here 
and see if I can get anything. But this is another one of them spots that just, I guess there is a door right here. Hopefully it works. But yeah, this chair right here, y'all remember this. So whenever you see the episode, because that will definitely be in the video. But I don't want to ruin it and tell you all what happened. But just remember it. Okay. Oh, here I'll show you guys this again. Come on. There it is. Yeah, check out this here. I've done some really neat stuff to this place, so. Yeah, if you guys are anywhere close and you guys have never been to the Monroe house, definitely check it out. It's worth, definitely worth it. Oh yeah, that's bright light. Okay, oh yeah, flip you. Okay, let me uh, turn on this light. But, yeah, my phone's probably going to die. Let me plug it in, just in case. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. So that is the Moreau house. I think I showed her, her, you guys everything, so. But, yeah, like I said, it's one of them things I'm just not yet 100% positive if I should spend the night here just because of the way I've been feeling. But, I mean, I think we have been warned by multiple people that we probably shouldn't stay here by ourselves. But I don't even know what time it is right now. So, I'd say it's got to be at least, what, 10.30, 11? Is that 10.30 yet? Does anybody know? 12. Is it 12 o'clock? Oh my goodness. How long have we been live? See, we got talking to you guys and it don't seem like we've been live for that long. Now, I definitely still want to go to that back room and see if, um, something happens or whatever. But, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I'll definitely be filming a little bit more. I don't know. I kind of want to set up some cameras and at least lay down back there and just see if something happens. Maybe we should do that. I'll get my sleeping bag out and everything, and then, or if there's a place I can um, plug you guys in back here. Would you guys want to just sit there and just watch? I mean, I'm just going to lay down, but I can leave you guys on live, as long as this thing keeps charging. And there's a plug-in back there. Okay. Well, let me, um... Okay. Let's see here. Okay, you guys hang tight for a minute. And, well... Let's see here. Because I'll need to get a... Okay, I got all these set up. I'll tell you what we can do is I guess 
probably because this thing ain't gonna do it no more. We can take this off and because this is full. We can put this camera on. And one thing, I mean, at least doing this, I'll get a fill for what it's kind of feels like laying down back there. And if it does feel uncomfortable, then I can just say no. batteries on here to charge. I know Josh would definitely appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, run these cameras back there. I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, whoops. I'll take you guys back there too. And then, um, while I'm getting this other camera, you guys can listen and watch. See if anything happens. Okay, I definitely gotta turn on some lights while I'm walking through here. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I know the battery's low. And then, um, Plus, I gotta get my sleeping bag. Okay. Hopefully, there is a plug in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on a minute, everybody. Is charging, but okay. Can't stay. Not sure how you shut this light off. No. Okay. 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 Well, I, I will be back. Thinking sleeping on that. Side. So just 
like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to sleep or not. If I can't, then I'll probably get out of here sometime. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys, listen, watch, and I'll be, let me see if I turn this up, maybe it'll be, okay, there you go, all right, you guys listen and watch, and I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Recording, recording. Do you guys, um, do you guys think I should uh, shut the door? Give me a thumbs up if I should shut this bedroom door. So yes, yes. See so some no's and yeah. Okay. I think <laughs> there's a lot. Oh no, it's like a mixture of yes and no's. I think the yeses have won it, but I'm telling you, it is like looking out into that hallway. Is like so creepy. Okay. Let me make my bed here. I got a sleeping bag, and I'll tell you what, I mean, I'll leave this sleeping thing here. So if something happens, this thing can stay here. If I figure out how to. How it comes apart, I don't really remember. That's one thing I have never mastered. And I don't know why I won't. Okay, let me turn the light on for a minute. But I do have, I got my keys on me, so, okay, let me show you guys my bed I made up. I am not getting inside the sleeping bag, so hopefully nothing happens because I want to be able to get it out really fast. So we'll see. No, I'm not zipping it. So, okay. Let me put you guys back here for a minute. Okay, I got some couple extra batteries. They do have movies, but they're all scary movies. You know, maybe if they had a movie that was not so scary. Yeah, I think we should shut the door. Oh, wait a minute. I'll be back.
Yeah, I'm leaving my... I'm leaving my uh, shoes on, my coats, everything. I got my keys on the side. Got my wallet in my pocket. So if I got to make a fast break out of here, I am gone. I'll tell you what, this is so freaking creepy. But having that door open, it was like 10 times more creepier. And then there's a, I guess a window right there, but, and I definitely wasn't going to be sleeping right next to that window, so. And like I said, I do know this window right here opens, so if I need to get out of it, I can. But I really don't think I'm going to be able to sleep, so. So we can read some comments. I think I'll be okay if something knocks on the door. But if that door starts shaking. Like the door handle or something like that. Yeah I'm out of here. Let's see here. Cheryl said we saw orbs. These chats go by so freaking quick. And I'm not. And the bad thing about it is it's so, you know, tiny. Oh, did you guys talk to Josh? Zombie, don't say that. Zombie said, hey, ghost, play with Sean's beard. <laughs> we, uh, uh, let's see here. It's not worth a heart attack. <laughs> no, but we're here. Uh... Yeah, it's been pretty mellow now. Earlier it wasn't. That's what I'm worried about. Is you never know when it's going to pick up. Don't say there's a portal in the room. Was well, Josh live right now? Hold on about me. Is, is uh, Josh live on YouTube? Oh, thank you, Summer. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know he was live. What's Josh think about me? Um, asking what he thinks about me laying here in bed. Thanks, Lewis. So everybody left me to go watch Josh. I'm sad. Now I'm going to get attacked by a ghost and everybody watching Josh and nobody's here with me. No, I got a whole bunch of great people with me. I swear I just heard a voice. Hello?
What the fuck was that? Sorry. Sorry to any kids listening. Holy shit, that was loud. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like it was right outside that door. You guys are supposed to be listening. I can't. The cameras had to pick that up. Because they're right, the ones over by that door. Holy shit, I don't even want to lay back down after that. That was freaking loud. Sound like something like freaking shifted or got moved out there. Yeah, um, there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to freaking sleep in here. Holy shit, what was I thinking? And the light's not even off yet. That's the bad thing about it. Oh, Josh is in the basement over there. I know earlier when I talked to him, he said he was scared. Pretty scared about going in that basement over there. I'll tell you what, when I was in that basement, I seen something um, crawling and, yeah, I took off up the steps and then it sounded like something came after me. I would lay on the couch, but the couch is not in the best of shape, so you would just pretty much fall right off of it. And honestly, that front room is, I think, scarier than back here. The only thing that's bad about back here is how far you have to go to um, get out of this house. That's why I said, if I have to, I'll go out that window. I'll leave everything in here. Uh, Josh and Rocky are at the Randolph. So I am here at the Murray House investigating myself. Shelly has the video of it. Are you talking about the video of when I was there at the Randolph? Josh was here alone last night, so I'm here alone tonight. I don't know. This was Josh's bright idea, not mine. Believe me. I would have never came up with this. Oh, Josh slept on the couch last night here. Oh, somebody just said something. Hold on out. <laughs> he wants to know if I was doing a six hour life, I guess. I don't know. You guys are all uh, here supporting me. He wouldn't come back to this bedroom and lay down, so. Which I could set the phone down here and put the light on me and then 
shut that uh, light off. I almost thought about upstairs, but that's just way too, you know, I mean, if something happens, there's no jumping out the window. It's like you got to go down the steps, and I don't, don't want to take a chance of trying to go down them steps. Josh should go and sleep in the basement over there in, in one of them cells. Tell Josh to sleep tonight in one of them cells. See what he says. It's just crazy because you like sat here and it's almost like you hear voices. I just hope it's my imagination. Maybe I'm just that scared. I don't know. I, no, I'm like too scared to open that freaking door now. I done shut it. Now I'm like scared shitless to open it. I said they heard whispering. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. Oh, shit. Let me see if I can, um, set this phone right here. check on cameras and then I'll shut the light off. As far as something grabs my freaking feet, I'm gonna freaking scream. You guys will be like, why is Sean screaming? Is Josh still alive? No, I didn't look under the bed. Hi, Josh. He didn't, he better say hi to me if he's on here. Is it Josh watching or Rocky? Hey, 
I'll tell you what, if I start getting that tinkling feeling, I'm out of here. Because uh, a lot, lot of uh, tonight was like when I would start getting that tingling feeling, I swear shit would start happening. So it was like like how your whole body just kind of, when you get scared and your hair stands up and you get that feeling. Yeah. I haven't seen Rocky or Josh say anything on here. They're being mean and not saying anything. Yeah, Josh went and lay back in here like this. Trying to read the chats, but like I said, they're going by too fast. I don't know. Josh asked a question before. Yeah, it looks like somebody's behind me with my hat shadow. Mary said, Sean, you're tired, go home. Yeah, I am tired, but... Okay. It's her tapping. Uh, the door's at an angle for me. Yeah, I've been here since 3 o'clock filming, so... I'm not sleeping either. I'm talking to Team Nightmare. The best fans out there. Devil's a lie. I wouldn't be laying in there. Yeah, it's spooky summer. Yeah, I'm not going to probably do no spirit box or anything. I've done all that tonight, and I'm just like, I don't want to aggravate anything since I'm just laying so far back in here. Oh, thank you, Ola. Oh, this was just so creepy, just because you know what to like go out of here. You got to walk by the basement door. Which makes it so much freaking creepier. Okay. 
I keep hearing stuff, but I'm like, okay, just don't pay no attention to it. Who's eating cupcakes? I don't like cupcakes, so it's all right. They can have them. I'll tell you what, it is so freaking cold back here in this room. I'm like freezing, but I, there's no way in heck I'm uh, going to get unzip this. I mean, I am like freaking totally freaking froze right now. I may just have a freaking end up freaking with hyperthermia or something. I should have brought my coffee back here. Josh got in the attic. If I did fall asleep, you guys couldn't, you guys would just be listening, thinking, who the heck's talking? That would be me. Be talking in my sleep or something. I got my hand down here, so if you guys hear a little bit of noise, it's, it, the bad and stuff is kind of noisy, so. Believe me, if it's not this, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, I'm too fucking scared to open that door now. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. If you guys have to get out of here. <clears throat> Are you talking about the shadow of my hat? Behind me. Other than that, it's a wall. So who would want to spend the night in the Moreau house? All by yourself. I guess this idiot here, right here. Because anybody else could do it. They could have it. It is very spooky. I mean, what's crazy though is just no, knowing that they, you know, did dig up uh, human remains down in the basement. So, I mean, could there be more? Who knows? I don't know if they dug up everywhere in the basement or just that spot or what. Or could there be some out in the yard, you know? Abigail, do you feel anything? Yeah. I'm scared. Which, I mean, there was a, a sheriff lived here for a little while. Before he, um, I think he lived here a little bit before when they was building the jail over there. And then um, 
he went there and which I mean I'm not a hundred percent positive but maybe the um because there was an apartment upstairs too I think yeah over there Yeah, these go by so fast it's hard to read them. Sometimes they'll like stop and I can catch something, but. Oh, Josh, some attic. Yeah, that attic is humongous over there. Um, I think, um, they're about an hour away. Yeah, I don't know how you change the speed on it. Is Josh getting good stuff over there in the attic? Mike said watching you both. Ivan, um, no, I don't believe, um, ghosts are just active in the dark. It don't matter if they want to be active, they're going to be active. I mean, we've investigated during the day, we've investigated at night. Josh with a creepy doll. That'd be cool, though, if he was over there and it was, um, that said my name. Josh should ask it if it knows where I'm at. Let's see if it says Murrow House.
There it go. I'm telling you, something freaking just, something out there is freaking moving like a chair. It sounds like something got like drug. Did you guys hear that that time? I say if I'll hear it again. I swear it's like freaking something's like freaking putting shit in front of the door or something. Or wait a minute. I think the door opens this way. Okay, I guess that ain't gonna work. Thank you, Cassie. Josh took off running. Oh, I'm already scared. Blame me. And then when you're sat here and hear something like fucking getting dragged across the floor, it makes you even scarier. But my problem is to run out of here, I gotta go by it all. Josh just got to go down a whole bunch of steps. little girl with Josh. Hopefully I'll may have lost it over that way. They run out of the attic. I'll tell you what, that place, I mean, it ain't no joke. It's just like this place. It just, they're very, very active places. Crap. I just heard something over there by the door again. It's like something's tapping. I'm at the Moreau house. Like, you can hear that right there. That's the bad, that noise. So, if you hear that noise, just block it out. But, any other noises... I don't think the door has a lock on it.
Hey, one thing, it's cool is, I mean, I got, I got two cameras over here. So one camera's right there by the door. So the noises, like that dragging noise I was hearing, which I've heard a couple of times, that camera should have picked it up. I don't know, but it's getting colder and colder around here. And the rattling noise, I think it's this bed. They, if you're hearing that noise. What time is it? Anybody know? Here in Indiana. Almost one o'clock. Hopefully Josh didn't fall down the steps. There you go back up to the attic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not covering up because if I need to get out of here. He wants me to call him. Yeah, Rocky's with Josh. Man, my nose is so cold. I'm too scared to open that door. Not with them noises out there already. Rocky's over there with Josh. He should be okay. The only way to check on Josh is to get off the live. Then that means I'm in this room alone. Nope, somebody said Josh is okay. But Sean's not. Sean's scared. All Dan's over there with Josh.
Yeah, I'm at the Moreau house and Josh is at the over end off. And Rocky's at the Randolph, too. <clears throat> yeah, I probably will, but we'll see. If it gets way too bad or I don't think I can handle the cold, then I'll... What the heck just happened? Oh, shit. The light went out, guys. Uh-oh. Okay. So the battery on the lights, Gary, go dead. Which sucks. I wonder how, if this light's too bright. Let me see. Okay, it's creepy as hell, but. Yep, okay. Oh, looks like that's the only light we got now. Yeah, if that's not creepy, I don't know what is. How it's like fading in and out. Yeah, <laughs> exorcist vibes. Yes, Randy. We got a Pikachu tattoo. Right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that was freaking, that was a little spooky. That fucking light went out and it went completely dark. I was like, oh shit. I need like a night light. I just heard a car door. I am in the only room with the beds. Yeah, I don't think the light's gonna stop flickering. It's kind of creepy. Did Josh go back to the attic? I'm not sure if I got any more lights out there. Like everything's freaking dead. 
because we was trying to get everything charged from Josh filming last night to me filming, and like I said, I've been filming since 3 o'clock, so, and it's like, what, 1 o'clock or something, so. Here in a couple more hours will be 12 hours. Does anybody know what scared Josh? Something just fucking hit something. Yeah, that was freaking loud. You guys had to hear that one. <clears throat> I mean, what's creepy is, like, when you're hearing that crap, you don't know if, like, while I was hearing shit get scooted, it's like, okay, what's it actually scooting out there? I mean, like, that time, it sounded like it freaking hit something. No, I'm not going to go look. I was like, well, we've stayed though. And I think that's one of the things that kind of scare me about doing this and staying like this is because we've stayed at, you know, quite a few places, all three of us together, and the activity we've had while I've been asleep, Rocky's always been there to wake me up. So, now Rocky's not here to wake me up if I do fall asleep, because I am a very, very heavy sleeper. So, anything could happen to me, and I'm not really wanting it to. Front door's locked. That's the thing, it seems like it don't take long, like, if you fall asleep, it's like, don't take long for stuff to start really freaking happening. Hey, I mean, we've had our, when we were sleeping on cots one time, we've had them lift up and slam back down on the ground. I mean, we've had where our door to our room was sitting there just shaking had our covers pulled on i mean and it just had stuff running up to us and like i said normally rocky don't sleep so he was one listening to all that most of the time but then he would wake me up as long as i i fall asleep before this stuff happens i'm usually good
Okay, about, I think uh, two more or about one more minute. I am going to probably jump off here. And then um, I'll give uh, Rocky and Josh a call to see how everything's going with them. And then I guess I'm going to have to brave it and probably go out there to warm up because honestly, I'm getting really cold. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, and then I'm gonna give them the call and see how everything's going with them, and then, so, so hopefully everything will go good, and I'll go get warmed up, and then we'll see, and let some heat in this room, and then I guess I'll come back in here. It's going to be scary opening the door, so, okay, let's, uh, whoops, I'll let you guys, uh, watch me open the door here, which I think, that one's still recording, that one's about dead, okay. look okay we're good okay so we will talk to you guys all later on thanks for being on here and we'll catch you guys next time t